Diamond X510 MH. Now the packet came saying Diamond X510 M, which I thought instantly I've got to send this back. Um, I really am looking for a 300 watt version or 350 watt, and the difference between the standard N is everything's the same 5.2 meters long, gain everything. No, can't find any differences in the spec other than uh, the standard version is only rated at 200 watts and the uh, MH is rated at 350 watts. Now I've got a Microset SR300 um, so I, ideally I want the 300 watts. There's no point in having a 300 watt linear if you can't push it. Um, I'm just wondering whether this is real or fake or what, I don't know from one of the videos I've seen. It's uh, new in the box. Um, it was supplied with a couple of Allen keys, uh, the appropriate fixings to go on the um, the tube. Um, obviously, your three elements that you screw together, and uh, these parts here, which I forgot the bloody name of them, your radials. Um, now, what's missing is on the instruction leaflet, should be two metal spanners, which aren't in there. Uh, not a major problem, they only clip on there and tighten it up. Uh, I've got spanners I could do that with, so it's not a problem. Um, what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll give you a quick overview of the length. We're all approximately at the right end bit right here. Um, if you're going to stick one of these in your car and bring it home, um, and you're going to need a bit of space. So let's work our way up. Oh, let's keep going, let's keep going. Okay. The centre element and the uh, final element are roughly uh, 58 and 61 appropriately, inches that is. Um, let's just keep going, let's just keep going and we come then to the uh, end of the first element which is around about 82 inches. Um, and the packet carries on a little bit because the uh, when the uh, when it's packed the elements come to roughly about here and then you've got your fixings in the last part what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up um, open these pull out the actual internal internals um, and check them because I've bought diamonds before and just down here that there was a couple of capa capacitors on the NX300 I think it was or X30 rather and they weren't soldered on one of them would come off so I was getting really bad SWR on it so what I'm going to do is uh, pull it all, pull them all out, lay them all out, and I'll show you. You can then see the capacitance and the internal windings and all the rest of it, and how it screws together out on the table. Taking the uh, elements outside of the tubes, they're all over there now. Um, we'll have a quick look from start to finish. Um, I will actually measure some of these and count some of the windings. Um, which we'll do that in a minute. Um, what I'm going to do is on all of these is check the connections and make sure they're tight. Um, as I say, I've had issues before with diamond. Um, there should be capacitors inside there, so I need to look at that um, as regards measuring it. Um, and we'll just go along the length of it, checking things like this. The, uh, the grub screws are tight. Um, So what I'll do is I'll, I'll get the LCR meter and uh, we'll do a quick couple of measurements. These seem to be 10 nanofarad, 10 nanofarad, and I'm not sure what that one is. I think it's 2 nanofarad, so it's kilo, kilovolt rated. Um, looking on the mag, but we're going to check them anyway, so we'll have a quick look. My findings. Um, the capacitors are actually, I can't get into them, but there is two in there. You can see they're soldered there, joined there, and soldered there. Um, when I'm measuring them, they're measuring out about, uh, well, it's varying. Between. I'm doing it 100 kilohertz at 1 volt, um, and it's about 1.8, 1.9 peak farads. Um, now, the capacitors down here, the first one measured out has uh, 14 peak farads. Uh, this one measured out at 11 peak farads and the next one which is in series with it measured out at 15 peak farads um, following on up um, I've done the first element we've got eight turns here which is correct 
on the larger we've got 64 64 yeah 64 turns on here and then at the end right there we've got another eight on the end there um, on the middle element we've got eight turns here uh, 64 turns here now on the top element um, measuring the capacitance again I'll move these two probes okay we've done that uh, we're reading 2.45 picofarads um, but if we go along 8 turns on here but I have 8 turns on here but according to a diagram that I found on the internet um, there should be 10 turns but I've got 8 on there that should be uh, 2 times 2 picofarads so that should be reading roughly uh, 2 picofarads which is not far off so um, it's a little bit high but the percentage tolerance is um, our next job is I think tighten everything up um, and check now on the original specification for the the lower rated uh, X510 200 watt um, they're showing um, 2.5 picofarads um, down to deck um, and only a 7.5 picofarads a single capacitor um, now obviously the bridge two capacitors in series there so um, got to halve that so I'll do that measurement and then I'll write that down um, and we can have a look at that as well okay I've done that so our total capacitance across those two capacitance is 14.187 picofarads which is twice what the um, the findings were on uh, whoever published this uh, were also the the other anomaly I got was on this last element they've put 10 windings I've only got eight um, so not sure but everything else seems in spec the mystery grows I don't know if it's my um, x 510 mah is fake or what I've took down my original diamond X510N uh, which I know is original I bought that from Radio World uh, everything about it seems right all the connections everything the labeling where it should be everything this should have a label on it here apparently uh, nothing there chromium on it looks crap um, but right, I've lined all these up here and I've labeled them so top uh, let's swap those two over so we so we can keep the same format so so ends at the top followed by the MH then the N MH N NOH okay so let's walk it down the lengths um, okay so far okay so far oh we've got different lengths so that's the N that's the MH N section this is the middle section of the original N which is a good 15 inches longer than the MH it's been compensated for don't get me wrong then we look at the, um, the, the base section and again The 15 inches is roughly made up um, in the original. Sorry, the original M8 N version is 15 inches shorter than the the newer MH version. Uh, the other thing is, this, according to the brochures, is how it should be all put together. Uh, little label on there and that screw on this one oh. let me just rotate it around right at the bloody end as you can see there it's uh, just a hex drive or an allen drive and that is the original N version um, so yeah I'll take it apart and we'll have a look inside quick comparison of the internals of the X510MH and the X510M um, we've had a look at the lengths 
of the uh, outer fiberglass tubing so let's have a quick look um, hopefully this will transfer okay I'll try to put some labels so people can see every now and again um, the differences between them um, I'll try and keep the tape measure into some kind of perspective so it might help but there is a definite difference between them okay um, main difference I can see is um, on the N, the original, there was 10 windings on there, there's only 8 on the MH um, the construction of the capacitance area down here um, it's a single capacitor here which says on there 7, 7 7.5D uh, 500 volt um, I measured it, it was 18 peak farads now the strange thing is, the one underneath says 1C 500 volt I don't know if I can get in on there um, and again it measured 18 pig farads so I don't know if they're faulty um, I have been shoving 200 watts through this so you never know I'm going to take them off and check them properly um, but I don't know if this MH is a fake or not everything about it just seems a bit I mean it's turning on here uh, there's, this is nicely done although it is, it is designed for a different socket so you know um, as you say the the end's got the end type socket on it, uh, female, and the MH comes the standard SO239, female. Um, but yeah, there are differences, as I say, with the capacitors are buried in this black uh, shrink sleeve, uh, whereas on the, um, I don't know if you can see that, um, they're just in a clear shrink sleeve, but it gives you a better in in indication of what's going on there anyway, so. Um, and I have measured them. They, 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 across there it reads roughly two peak farads um, using the uh, LCR meter. Um, so they roughly are two peak farads each. Uh, same with this one here. So I've checked those. Those are okay. Those are roughly in the same spot on these two top elements. The top elements roughly um, same size. Yeah. But what, what I've done, I've just pulled up the X510 against the uh, x510 mh and you can see the difference it's not much it's very slight but there is a slight difference in length but that could just be stretching the way same number of terms um on the n and the mh on the first element or section i don't want really to call it really because it's all uh, they are the same length um the wire diameters all look pretty much the same although this sort of turns into a sort of copper material with this one and stays as a sort of brass material with that one um, so I don't know but I've got to put it all back together anyway I'm going to check these caps first uh, everything else seems to be okay um, I mainly took the uh, original X510 down because it's been up for two or three years now um, and although there was water ingress into um, the socket or it felt damp anyway at least um, Let's push that back. Um, everything else seems okay. I've, I've checked it. I've, I've checked it with the RCR meter. I'll check all these connections again um, and just make sure everything's tight. But as again, on the original one, you get this type of screw attachment, um, and the um, the new one I've got the DX five H ten M H M is just a Allen key screw. So I don't know. I don't know. Um, is it real? Is it fake? I don't know. Um, I tend to think the original one is, but um, the end version. Well, anyway, that's some kind of cross comparison. I'll put them back together and I'll do um, uh, some SWR tests once they're all back together.